Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a group only door. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties, we now want to go and make the door that the players are going to be able to walk through if they are in that Roblox group. So we just want to go and insert a part and you can really style this to whatever you would like for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using a very basic design. It's kind of something like that. There we go. You can also change the color. You can change the material. Feel free to customize it as much as you want. So once you've finished customizing the door, we then want to go and click on the part and we want to go up to Explorer. We want to click the plus button next to part and insert a surface GUI. You can search up in the top bar here or just search, click on surface GUI. Then in the Surface GUI, we want to insert a text label. As you can see, somewhere on your part, a text label should show up. If your text label is not on the front area, you are able to change it here. So for example, let's say we want it on the other side. We just, oh, sorry, that's the bottom. Let's say we want it on the other side. We want to click on back. And as you can see, it's on the back of the... So now that we've inserted the text label, we now want to go and click on text label in Explorer. And then we want to scroll down to the properties of the text label and find the area where it says size. You then want to size the text label to whatever your part is. Once you've finished scaling the text label to the part, you then want to head down to text and we want to click on text scale. This basically scales the text to the size of the text label. You are also then able to adjust the color of the text, adjust the font. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using this one here. You are also able to remove the text label background. So let's say you've got a colorful part. Let's say you've got a, a red part, something like that. And you want the red part to show here. You want to click on the text label and we want to go to background transparency. We want to set this to one. And as you can see, we now are able to see the red background. But let's say you only want to see a little bit of the red background. You are able to set this to maybe 0 0.5 or 0. .5 seven if you wanted something like that but it's completely up to you for this tutorial i'm just going to be setting at it at one so we do see our background color we're also going to want to change the text of the text label so for default they have the text as label if you want to change this you want to scroll back down to text and find where it says text you then want to click on where it says label and you are able to change this to whatever you want once you've finished customizing the text label we then want to go and click on our part and then we want to go back to Explorer, click on the plus button next to our part, insert a script. We want to remove all the previous code in the script. And then what you're going to want to do is go down to the description of this video, copy and paste this code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio. So control V, right click, paste, paste in the code that is in the description. Once we've inserted the code into the script, we then want to go and change this ID to your Roblox ID. So to find your Roblox group ID, you want to go to the link of your Roblox group, copy the bunch of numbers there, copy that and take that back to Roblox Studio. So now that you've copied your Roblox group ID, we want to go up to here, remove the previous ID and paste in our Roblox group ID. You are also able to adjust a couple more things like the surface GUI being shown on the part when touched. You can change that to true if you want the text label to be shown when the part is touched. I'll show you how that looks and how that works now. You are also able to change the transparency of how, how see-through the part is. So if you want the part to be partially see-through, if they're in the Roblox group, you are able to set this to like 0.5. But if you want the whole part and everything to disappear, if they when they do touch the part, you want to set this to one. So once you've finished adjusting the script, we want to go and click the X button next to the script. And then once the scripts have been applied, you then want to make sure that the part is anchored. If the part is not anchored, the part is going to flop all over the floor. So I really do recommend anchoring your part before you go and test. So once you've finished everything, then want to go up here and click play. And as you guys can see from afar, we can see the floppy group only. And as you can see, the transparency of the part is still zero, basically meaning there's no see-through part to it. So as you guys can see, if we go and touch the part, the part and the GUI will all completely be removed and we can walk freely. 
But let's say you wanted the GUI to stay. All you want to do, you want to set this to true. So let's say if you wanted to keep the floppy group only to be uh, shown, you just want to change this to true. And let's say you don't want the part to completely disappear. You want the part to be just partially see through if it's touched. You want to change this to 0 0.5. So I'll do a bit of an example here now on what it would look like. So as you guys can see, I've changed that to true and changed that to 0 0.5. And as you guys can see, we have now loaded back into the game for the second time. The floppy group only is here. The part is here. But as you guys can see, because since we have made those adjustments, the part stays here and we can walk through it. But the transparency and how far we can see through it has been changed. And as you can see, the floppy group only. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.